reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on subtraction and addition of fractions. Now, the fractions that have been given here, they are algebraic fractions and it is very important for you in N3 to be able to solve such given fractions. Now, let us have a look at the problem that we're given. In this case, we're given three fractions. The one with 1 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. And then we have got the simplest one, which is x over x plus 1 already simplified and x over x plus 2. These are already simplified. But the one which gives a bit of challenge is the x squared plus 3x plus 2. In which case, what you need to do is to first simplify. So now, what are you supposed to do with the one which is at the bottom? You are supposed to factorize. Now, I've got a simpler method of factorizing, which I usually call it the product and sum method. So it's a common pro uh, way of solving the, the factorizing of a quadratic trinomial. So now oh, what you need to do is x squared plus 3x plus 2. So now whenever you're not given any number before the coefficient of x squared, you must know that it is a 1. So in, 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 this, in this case, what you're looking for, you're going to take the first one and the last one with the sign. It becomes your product. You're going to multiply them. And then the center one with the sign is, is, your, is your sum. So now my product, which is P, I'm multiplying 1x squared times 2, which is I'm getting a positive 2x squared. And my sum, which is the addition, is the center number, which is a positive 3x. So now I'm going to look at the factors. Whenever you're looking at the factors, always consider the product. I'm looking at the factors of 2, and 2 I can only get 2 if I multiply 1 times 2. There is no other factor and now from these two numbers i need to get a sum of three which is one must be positive and two must be positive one plus two is three so if i rewrite the given problem here what i'm going to be having now i'll be having x squared now where there was three x i no longer write three x i write the two factors that i'm given which is one x plus 2x because this is my 3x together plus 2 so I, I consider the first two what is common in the first two is x which is x plus 1 plus 2 now 2 into 2x is x and 2 into 2 is a 1 so the aim is to make sure that the brackets are matching so if x plus 1 and x plus 2. Now remember I cover more of this factorizing a quadratic trinomial but in, in other lessons so you can always refer to other lessons so that you can be able to get this concept. Now when I have done that I can now revert back to the problem that I'm given. It says you're supposed to add these. So if I can use a different pen and if I can do that I was just showing you now this can be now equal to this fraction is now 1 over it's simplified now as x plus 1 and x plus 2 and then plus x over x plus 1 plus x over x plus 2. So that's what we have. Now what is interesting to notice is the x plus 1 and x plus 2 is already in the two other denominators. So which means my common denominator in all this is x plus 1. My common denominator in this case are x plus 1 and x plus 2. This is the common denominator that is repeating in all the three fractions. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the first one, x plus 1, x plus 2, dividing by the common denominator, I will get a 1. 
multiplying by the top the numerator which is a 1 plus again I take the x plus 1 and divide here so if I can show you in a simple way I'm taking my denominator which is x plus 1 and x plus 2 I'm dividing it by my x plus 1 so if you cancel you remain with x plus 2 so basically that is what is happening so in this case I'm going to have plus x multiplying x plus 2 x is multiplying x plus 2 plus x now because x plus 2 will cancel it to multiply x plus 1 now if this continues I have to open or expand the brackets 1 times 1 will give me a 1 plus now I'm expanding the x will multiply the x and the x will multiply the 2 the x here multiplies the x and the x will multiply the 1 so what you're just expanding the top don't expand the bottom so you're going to have x squared plus 2x plus x squared plus x all over you still have your x plus 1 and you still have your x plus 2 if I can create more space so now what are we what are we having now if we can continue we are having you're collecting like terms now you are going to have the x the x squared and the x squared together you group them and then you're going to have the 2x and the x and then the 1 so if you're collecting like terms x squared plus x squared you get your 2x squared plus 2x plus x you get your 3x plus 1 all over x plus 1 and x plus 2 so this might look like it is the end but you have to be careful to see whether can you further factorize the top part so you need to check if the top part can be further factorized how do you check it come back again to the product sum you have got your 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 now what is the product remember the product means terms is 2x squared times 1 you have got a positive 2x squared what is the sum which is the plus is the plus 3x so now if I can take this on top so now what you are having is you are looking for a number when you multiply you get a 2x squared when you add you get a 3 so you are looking for the factors of 2 now the factors of 2 are 1 times 2 and then from these factors when you add them you want to get a 3 as you can see the, the way to get a 3 in this case will be uh, when you add them is positive as well as it's positive so in this case you are going to have if we continue it will be 2x squared this continues to become 2x squared instead of 3x you have got 1x plus 2x plus 1 you look at the first two x is common you left x I mean you left 2x plus 1 if I can erase there I'll left 2x plus 1 and then already you can see that we have got 2x plus 1 so you take out a 1 so that it remain as it is as 2x plus 1 creating again more space I can take it up now what am I having here in the brackets I have got 2x plus 1 and then I have got outside the bracket the x plus 1 so this is what is going to be this particular numerator if it continues it becomes 2x plus 1 and 
x plus 1 all over and then remember you still have your x plus 1 as well as your x plus 2 now it was very important for you to take it further because you can see that the x plus 1 and the x plus 1 is now cancelling and the last part now that you are having which is the simplified version is the 2x plus 1 over the x plus 2 so such problems they can carry almost six marks in an exam you need to be careful that you don't end your solution in here some they might end the answer and stop it there but you need to factorize further this is what they mean when they say simplify or factorize completely so the final answer then becomes 2x plus 1 over x plus 2 there is nothing we can do to these it is the simplified version now we have come to the end of our lesson see you again in other uh, complicated problems of n3 that can give you good marks in the exam thank you for my dreams I reach out for my vision I reach out for help that I thought I needed cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of